Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, let's welcome the Chief of AMISA, the podium, as he delivers his vision for the Ghana Army. The aim of this presentation is to share with you, students of course 42, my vision for the Ghana Army for the decade 2020 to 2030. I agree with Leon Trotsky when he said, you may not be interested in war, but war is interested in you. As an army, we are conscious of this reality, and that guy is our threat appraisal. National security threats are diverse and they continually increase in complexity, fueled critically by technology and the ever pervasive media. The Ghana Army continues to play its core functions as enshrined in the Act of Parliament Act 105, 1962, to protect the independence and territorial integrity of the Republic of Ghana. The Act mandates the Army to be organized, equipped, and trained for prompt and sustained combat operations, either independently or in conjunction with the Ghana Navy and the Ghana Air Force, as well as other sister security services, in order to defeat any threat. Infrastructure improvement. I intend constructing a P support operation transit camp, uh, which will be called the UN village from uh, accommodation to uh, entertainment to uh, dining facilities and so on and so forth. So we've improved accommodation at Bondasi training camp. As I'm speaking, there are a lot of uh, construction works going on. Uh, we have a hundred, two of hundred bed facilities for the other ranks. Again, we have another 50 bed facility for the other ranks. And then we are about to start a hundred bed facility for offices. Resourcing all the training schools. Work is currently ongoing, about 98% complete at Army Recruit Training School and 100% uh, complete in, at Daboya Training School. JWS uh, is seeing some renovation works and 2BN range is being prepared also for training purposes. Promoting joint training, as recently we had what we call the exercise Eagle Cross with the Air Force. And that is the exercise, Eagle Cross, and other exercises. And pursuing all options to secure the requisite equipment for training and for internal and external operations. We may so high because we need eagle eyes to watch our enemies and strike at an opportune time. And the gentle Air Force does this extremely well. I give it to them. We may also dive into deep waters and strike when our marine resources are endangered. Thanks to the glamorous Navy. I give it to them also. However, it takes the Army's rapid foot on the objective and the haggard looking hands to lift aloft the flag and plant it on the objective to achieve the sounding victory. For these reasons, an effective, efficient, and versatile Ghana army will remain an important instrument of war and also of national development. Thank you very much for your time. Gladly announced that in two weeks' time they will deliver six of Peter's. <laughs> <laughs>